Can villains get any more annoying? Even Toga is getting more annoying, more desperate for her darling. I roll of annoyance just thinking about their last encounter. What did she do this time? She started going on about how I would become her gift to Deku, whatever that means. Weird right? Wait. Bakugo, you don't get what she meant. No. It was just Toga being weird, right? Oh my all might, no. No 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 no. No. You can't be serious. Huh? What the beep are you talking about Pinky? Bakugo, think really, really hard about it for a moment. Why would Toga want to give a gift to someone she loves? Probably because she's obsessed, or maybe for a holiday or something. Yeah, and what holiday is coming next? National shower with a friend day. Wait that's a thing. Hold on hold on hold on. I. Kirishima no. Bakugo. That was last week. Dot dot dot. No. That's today. Dude, that was last week. Yeah, Kaminari and I celebrated that last week. Mina and everyone else immediately gives them a raised brow look, judging intensifying. We were in our bathing suits and it was after a training session. Anyways. No, that was last week. Bakugo, today is Valentine's Day. Please in the name of all might tell me you did not forget Valentine's Day while dating Deku. Dot 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 dot. Wait what the beep it can't be Valentine's Day. Oh my beeping all might you did. Bakugo I swear if you ruin Boku Deku. Wait wait wait. Wasn't Baku bro in the hospital last week after fighting Toga and Darby? Oh my all might no. I did not forget Valentine's Day. Being in the hospital for a week is a perfectly valid reason to have forgotten Valentine's Day. I'm sure Deku will understand. No. I will not let this go by like this. The nerd will have an awesome Valentine's Day. It will happen. He'll kill me otherwise. What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's too late to get chocolates or caramel, definitely too late to make a reservation at any fancy restaurant. No way you could get a good seat at any movie either. Dot dot dot. I have an idea. I had some things to get ready for Valentine's Day, but. Beep it, they may not be ready but I don't have a choice. Baku Squad. Tell the teacher that I had to leave for a sudden emergency, I gotta get this done before the nerd comes over. And with that, off Bakugo went to his room to get things ready for the night, leaving Mina and the rest to sputter in surprise. He quickly went to work, cursing himself as he went about the tedious process of making chocolate-covered caramels. Then he got to work renting the latest All Might documentary, before finally tackling the dinner portion. For dinner he went with the two, 16-ounce porterhouse steaks he was saving for Valentine's Day. Bakugo also prepped some fingerling potatoes, slicing almost through them over and over to give them an accordion-like effect, frying them once done. With just minutes to spare before Deku would arrive, he seared the steaks on both sides and began butter basting them with garlic, sage, and thyme in the butter. He had just plated them up and gotten the secret surprise ready when Deku knocked. N nerd. Isn't it a bit early? No? You told me to be here at 8pm on the nose. Don't tell me you forgot and you're not ready. Bakugo winced at that, quickly shaking his head as he stood there. No, of course not. I could never forget Valentine's Day. Deku raised an eyebrow at that, as that's not quite what he was talking about. Oi. Don't give me that look and get in here already, I've got the steaks already plated. Deku of course leaped at the word steaks, licking his lips hungrily as he and Bakugo went to the table for dinner. Bakugo had spooned the now browned butter flavored by the herbs and garlic over top the potatoes and steaks, flavoring it all with that delicious sauce. It was all so irresistible to Deku, the delicious umami of the steak paired with the rich, 
buttery sauce and those fried potatoes. By the end of it, Deku was very satisfied with it all as he let out a small gasp of surprise when the box of chocolate-covered caramels came out, even more surprised to find out it was homemade. Kaken, you've done so much. This is all so good that honestly if I could I'd hit the subscribe button to be blessed with good cooking like this every day. This had to have taken days of work to master making caramels as good as these. Ah it was no problem at all, it was a piece of cake. Bakugo was very pleased with himself, grinning as he pulled out the latest All Might documentary. I've also got this for us to watch when you're ready. Oh my All Might K-A-C-C-H-A-N. You know me too well. Heart eyes of love at just how well Bakugo gets him. Heh, I thought you'd like that. But first, the final surprise. Bakugo's grin only grew as he stood up then lifting his shirt to reveal a red bow threaded through the belt loops of his pants and tied at the front into a classic gift bow. Care to open up your final gift? Eyebrow wiggles of supreme confidence, feeling as though the entire night is going perfectly and nothing could go wrong. Deku grinned at that, looking at Bakugo suggestively before moving in and undoing the bow, tugging on one end to cause UT to unravel and... Dot 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 dot. Kaken. Why are you wearing a pair of swimming trunks? Bakugo froze at that, face paling a little as he realized he had forgotten one, tiny, small thing. He was going to celebrate National Shower with a friend day with Kirishima. That is until he found out it was actually Valentine's Day, of course. Uh, ah. Uh. You see. Bakugo was very clearly trying to think of an explanation for this unexpected situation and Deku slowly began to put the pieces together. Wait. You said you were going to do the national shower with a friend holiday with Kirishima not long ago. And that you were going to wear your bathing suit to class to surprise him with suddenly as a joke. But that holiday was last week. And you never mentioned doing that. Wait a second. Nerd it's not what it seems like. Did you forget Valentine's Day was today and mix up the weeks? Bakugo just winces and sputters a little, completely caught off guard by the nerd's deductive skills. Yes, I did I'm sorry. I forgot because last week I was in the hospital after that fight with Toga and Darby and just. I'm sorry, I really didn't intend to forget. Dot dot dot. I forgive you. Oh thank all might, I thought. But. You're not getting off scot-free either. You're not going to get punished badly, but now I've got an advantage over you. Faces of complete and utter confidence at how much of an advantage he's suddenly gained. Dot dot dot. Beep. What am I going to have to do? Evil grinning face as he rubs his hands together. You'll find out a little later, but for now. Let's go watch that documentary and eat chocolate covered caramel. Two months later. Come on Kaken, we've got to get going. You don't want to disappoint those children, do you? Nerd I am so going to get you back for this. Yeah yeah yeah, less talking and more hopping. Bakugo just grumbles as he comes out of his room, clad in an Easter bunny outfit with his face visible. Laughing crying face as he just can't get over how well this is going. You look great, Kaken. Those kids are going to love getting their Easter eggs from Bunny Kaken this year. It's Bunny Dynamite to them. I mean. Just be quiet nerd. Deku could only grin and laugh as Bakugo grumbled and blushed, looking to the side as he plotted his revenge. The end. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and we hope you enjoyed it. This video took a bit longer than we'd care to admit to plan out but we think the results speak for themselves. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe buttons and comment down below if you'd like us to do an Easter sequel to this one, perhaps including more of their classmates in it. Thank you all once again for coming out to today's episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.